Hi guys, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I wanted to show you how to leverage MQTT Retain to store messages, right? As you might know, Emitter has a message storage built in and in order to support MQTT Retain, Emitter actually leverages on the same message storage. So what is MQTT Retain? Well, uh, I have a simple schema here where uh, two messages are being published on two different topics, right, channels. So message one and one here is a wind power station publishing a message with the retain flag to true. So the retain flag is a flag in MQTT header and MQTT as the protocol emitter is actually using for its communication. And uh, another workstation or production also publishes a message with a retain to true, right? So let's assume uh, the left side, the two messages happening at uh, one time, and then after this, right, in the important part, after this, someone subscribes, right? The problem we have without retain is that those messages are lost in a sense, right? Unless you actually have stored them, they are lost. So the retain allows you to store every time the last message so this guy here, the uh, power station, can receive both messages, well, for one for each topic, right? It receives the last one. So a very good use case is, for example, you have this wind power and it only sends you a message once an hour. And once an hour, it's, it's not frequent enough to actually bootstrap, to actually get the good value, the last known good value. So you publish typically with a retain flag set to true. And given that emitter actually leveraged on message storage, everything is expirable in emitter. So the retain is configurable per broker and it's defaulting, I think it's about 30 days, right? Defaults to 30 days. So even if you have a retain to true and um, you have to still set a limit in time. Right, so that's pretty much it. Let's actually try to uh, code it and uh, build it. So I'm going to use Go Client V2 again. So, but it's also doable in every, pretty much every uh, MQTT client, right? This is a standard thing. So I have terminal here. Let's still go mod, uh, go get you. So first thing we get emitter. Then we need to create a main file. All right. So let's copy this thing, this guy here. No, this guy would copy. Okay. All right, so uh, main, let's have a look at how we can, so I have connect, right? So let's create two functions. Let's say we have a sensor and the sensor will publish message. So we will need to connect, right? We need to connect and we we'll need any handler because we're not actually subscribing to anything. Right, so check that for error. Panic if we don't can connect. Um, then we use a new method. So we have a publish with retain here. And again, it takes a key and the channel and the payload and set of options. <coughs> So there's two ways to do it with this Go client. It's actually with retain option as well. So you can just know a normal publish with retain. Uh, so I can go here. That's pretty much what it does. 
So you publish key channel payload and one of the options is with retain. Right? Now let's go and create a channel. So retain demo. And what we need is we need to read and store permissions. Right? Because remember, sorry about this. So remember it's a retain, right? So we're actually going to write to message storage. <clears throat> so we need the permission to do so. Um, retain demo. And create, um, let's say, a random number. Right? Uh, message let's say a number and then let me make it a string right so now now what this does sensor is just publishing right and again Always check for errors. It's a print error. Okay. All right. Now we have our sensor, and let's also wait a bit here. So right now sensor just publish and we can run it. All right. So the key is not authorized to actually do this. Yes, because I forgot to mention which broker I'm connecting to. All right. So I have a broker I need locally, so that's why. I tried to connect to a cloud one. All right, so let's now try to publish and still doesn't work. What did I wrong? So let me broker running. All right. Eight, one Connect. We are trying to publish and all oh, right, write and store. So indeed the key is not correct. Write and store. Let's try again. Okay, now it looks good. Now it looks like it published. Now it's waiting on my sleep here. Now, similarly, we would want to create a dashboard. So a dashboard which shows the sensor. So we're gonna connect as well to the same broker. Right, and what we will do here is we actually issue a subscribe. So subscribe will have a key and a channel. So let's create a key. So similarly, we need a read and load permissions for this, right? Because we're actually going to not only subscribe, but also get the last message, right? If you have only read and do not have load, it will not work, right? So you only subscribe like per normal. Let's create a handler, specific handler for this, and then print line received from sensor message payload and convert test to string, right? So now dashboard does just subscribe. And again, let's check for error. And print error, right? So dashboard doesn't do anything, just subscribes. But how about we actually use this now on its own? 
we just have a dashboard here. We just have a dashboard and nothing else. And oh, we just received a message. So as soon as we subscribe and nothing was running, right? Uh, because I ran the sensor before, before actually implementing the dashboard in this case. Um, as soon as I connect the dashboard, I get the latest sensor message, right? And if I do this, so a sensor is publishing and I'm receiving it back. Right. So my random is not very random, but you get the point. That's pretty much it. This is how you would use a retain message and this is how you uh, connect, how you subscribe with and receive retained messages. Okay. Thanks, and uh, this is a new feature, so uh, expect some uh, issues on the master, um, but they'll be polished over time and uh, be production ready in no time. Right. So please do let me know in the comments below if you want to know more about it, something is not clear and uh, do like and do subscribe to this video. It helps this channel and uh, helps more people know about the meter. Thanks.